Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And um, one of the things that you could uh, look at when you are on the Pro version or the Enterprise version of Windows 10 is Windows Sandbox. So Windows Sandbox that you see here is a Windows within a Windows. A lot of you have been saying, well, you know, why did they do this? There's, um, you know, third party uh, offers that will actually let you do this. Well, yeah, absolutely. But why not have it already embedded within Windows? You know, it doesn't hurt. And it's actually, I think, a good idea. So Windows Sandbox is a virtualized environment. It's called Sandbox because it's contained within an app. So that means if you get a virus in there, you won't infect your machine. You're just going to infect that virtual machine. And when you actually shut it down using the X on the upper right corner, well, everything just, um, you know, everything just disappears because it's like having a fresh new version of Windows every time. They've done some uh, interesting improvements, I've noticed. Um, before, on the Insider Previews, a lot of the apps, uh, the, the apps that you just don't want to see, uh, including games and stuff, were there and they were like trying to download themselves and it was really crazy because there was way too many things and it took a lot of time because of that. But uh, now they kind of fixed that and I kind of like the fact that they did fix this actually. That now the sandbox mode actually works well within uh, the uh, computer. Now to have this working you will have to uh, have the virtualization enabled in the processor in the BIOS. Uh, that's very very uh, important and you will need 64-bit machine to do this. Um, my negative side that I would say to it is it's a little slow. I mean I think they still have to tweak this to make it better but it's a little sluggish to operate but it does work I mean you know and it, it gives you a a perfect environment exactly like if you had um, you know uh, a, a, a Windows and uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want in there so everything works it's really really nice so it's available by uh, adding it within the um, programs and features you gotta it's not on by default to have it working you gotta go into the programs and features and select some of the new features and ask for a um, ask it to be installed so um, that's in the control panel programs and features you add new features to Windows and you will get of course Windows Sandbox so this is one of the things you need to um, to um, check out and it, it works fine but like I said it's a little sluggish of course you can go to full screen if you wish to uh, use it full screen mode will give you this aspect here of a full screen of Windows 10 within the sandbox and that for sure will uh, be uh, of interest to uh, some of you out there to test out software it's a great way to test software to download stuff that you're not sure of try them out and if it works fine or not and see if it works it's a great way to test software that might not be working within the um, Windows your standard Windows install and trying to have it tested here where there's no interference no other software nothing uh, special to uh, maybe you know block that program from actually working well so uh, Windows Sandbox kind of a nice feature and uh, it's a little slow I think they need to work on it yet but at least it's included within Windows if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching